everyone, so today we're going to go down to some Dollaramas, one in a lower income neighborhood and one in a higher income neighborhood to see if there's a difference in what kind of stuff you'd get at the store. You think that there would be sort of an incentive to get people to come in, so would they put better items in a more expensive area? Let's find out. Awesome that probably almost no other Dollarama will have, and that's the Dollarama horse. So here is the Dollarama that I found that's in an area where houses are quite affordable. As you can see how it looks around here, everything's pretty old. It's in an old building. I'm gonna go in and see what kind of items we can find. We have the usual cooking supplies. We got Betty Crocker, and that's typical for Dollarama. Good selection of pots and pans. Star Wars kitchen utensils. We have Disney Pyrex accessories for the kitchen. We have Javex cleaning products. There's name brand cleaning products like Lysol. And Clorox. Got usual laundry products like Fleecy, Snuggle, and Resolve. Also, we have Gain and Bounce. Downy Unstoppables and also Gain laundry crystals. There's Febreze. Get small bottles of Tide. There's decorative pillows for your house. And even a Major League Baseball chair cushion. We have a peanuts dish towel, $5. Star Wars tablecloth with Baby Yoda. Rubbermaid food holders. Also Ziploc food holders. Breton crackers. Really good brand of croutons, and they have that here, the Grissel croutons. Mossy oak water bottles. cheese, Ben's rice, sriracha sauce, Caesar dog food, name brand snacks from Lay's, drink mixers for $3.50, Full House French vanilla coffee, lots of different dare cookies in lemon, cinnamon, and fudge. Elastics. My Little Pony Crowns. Bobby Brooks Slippers for ladies. Avino Hand Mask. Avino Mineral Sunscreen for $3. By Spascriptions Skin Booster. Ironwear Safety Hat. Toothpaste. $3.50. Toothbrush for $1.50. Kids mouthwash, four dollars. Soap, four dollars. Hand wash. Body wash, five dollars. Armor all brush for your car, four dollars. Turtle wax mitts, four dollars. Licensed PlayStation or Xbox headset, five dollars. Gift cards. $5. Star Wars Stationery, $2. A 16 Candles Puzzle from Blockbuster. Crayola Items for $3.50. Little High Fashion Sketchbook. Lego Activity Book with an actual minifigure. Lego Harry Potter Book with an actual Lego Harry Potter minifigure. DC Universe comic books. Universe book. The 
little mini figures. Disney Rhea figurines. They are five dollars each. Hot Wheels cars for two dollars. Baseball figures for four dollars. New GI Joe for four dollars and Playmobil Ghostbusters and Power Rangers. Hugs Life playset. Funko Pops including Harry Potter. Grand Barbie clothes. Former Squeezlings. Royale napkins. The Italiano bread for $3.25. Wonder bread for $2.50. So what did you guys think of this Dollarama? Actually, I was quite impressed. A lot of the items were really different from the usual Dollaramas I go to. I see a lot of interesting, nice products. So let's see what happens if we go to a Dollarama in a more expensive area. So here we are at a Dollarama in a high-end part of the city. It's in a strip mall sort of area, close to a Walmart. And people just down the road over this way have houses that are over $3 million. So will this store give me better items? Let's find out. the usual Betty Crocker kitchen items. We have Peanuts kitchen items. We have an Edge mini spatula and whisk set. We also have the Star Wars kitchen goods. And Peanuts. I'm trying to see if there's anything better here than the other dollar store. We have a brand here called Richard and there's wool dryer balls. So those are reusable, kind of nice. We have Downy Defy Damage. We have Gain Flings. We also have the same products as the other store for laundry. That you can put in the ground to attach your pet's leash to. Looks like we have some bed sheets. Utica, Royal Kale, West Point Home and Cotton Dreams. I don't know any of these brands, but they might be good. Five dollars each. We have Mickey Mouse kitchen mitts. We have some water bottle ice molds. We have some thermal bento boxes here. They're five dollars each. There's some Pyrex Star Wars storage containers. We have an oil sprayer where you can put your own oil in. Stuff, and this is an auto watering system. These look to be some sort of high end dog harnesses made by Sporn. We've got big packages of Kool Aid, a few more drink mixes here. Now I'm not sharing things that are the same, only things that I see are different or of a better quality. Frank's Red Hot Sauce, they are smaller bottles but they do have it. We also have organic herbs. There's pancake and crepe mix. We have fruit roll-ups. We have Haribo gummy bears. There's a bigger bread selection here. We've got bagels and a bunch of Wonder Bread. We have some fishing equipment. This one's from Muskie. A few other brands there. We have fishing nets. WD-40 and shop towels. They have a letter board where you can put things up. They have some backsplashes. Real hand cream and we 
also have Lubiderm. We also have Arm and Hammer, Johnson Baby Powder, and Shampoo. We have some Aveeno Body Wash. That has to be the weirdest face mask I've seen. Kotex products, so their name brand. We have some Mission Ridge slippers for men. There's an Aveeno foot mask. There's a Pond's mineral clay mask. There's products from Aroma Guru. There's good quality tweezers from Barbasol. Adol Sassoon hair color and Garnier. Revlon hair color. Socks. There's some GH Bass and Company tights and they have legs and a spirit. We have some Maxell earbuds. There's lots of selfie lights and things for doing online stuff. A Fruit Loops pillow. Studio jelly pens. We have some action figures. They're big size. There's um, X-Men, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, and Fortnite. Five dollars each. We have some little doll surprise dolls for four fifty. We have a Rick and Morty mask. There's a huge Play-Doh section. Got some good quality cookbooks here. Some Dragon Ball Z stickers. Some Rachel Roy active fans. It's a Nerf mini basketball hoop. We have reusable straws made of metal. Well, we're coming to the end of the tour soon here, and I really don't see as much in this store as I did the other stores. Some better things actually in the other store. Well, so now I've visited Dollarama in two different areas of the city in a lower income neighborhood and a higher income neighborhood. To be honest, I think the stuff was better in the lower income neighborhood. Dollarama that was kind of poor quality and not a fancy area, an older building, carried way better items. They had more variety, a lot of different stuff, and the one in the more fancier area had your run-of-the-mill stuff, but nothing special or extra. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with the just luck of the draw and what the store actually orders in. So as we go to other stores, we'll find out if they have better things. If you did like my video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching.